who am I was the question that provoked me to journal for two hours on last week, Thursday. And I journaled there and at first I wrote things down like I'm brave, I'm strong, I'm big, I'm tall and it was kind of shallow and I stopped. Well, what if God wanted to tell me that even though everything was taken away from Jesus at his cross, think of it, his robes were taken away, his honor was taken away, he was humiliated in front of the crowd. But who was he? He was still Jesus, even on the cross. And who would you be on the cross? I thought to myself, would you still be brave? Would you still be strong? Would you still be tall? Would you still be all these things if you were on the cross? And you can think this for yourself, even if you're not Christian. Think of another journaling prompt. Who would I be if X happened, if Y happened? Who would I be if this horrible thing happened, if I died, if I was short away from dying? Who would I be if everything went to shit? And of course you're bound to the items you have and to the success you have, of course. But you're not actually bound to them. You're bound to the experience you bind, you bind them with. Think of Andrew Tate. If he lost all his money, would he still be Andrew Tate? Of course. Because not the money made him Andrew Tate, but the way he made the money. Not the house makes you yourself, but the way you build the house. Not your belief makes you yourself, but the way you have gotten the belief. And this journaling prompt is where I'm going to end the video. Who would you be if X happened? Who would you be if you were thrown in an arena with some other guy? Who would you be in the ring? What is your identity? Who are you?